Hey guys, what's up? It's Siri Hacks, long time no see, and it's good to be back. Um, it's the summer now, I don't have a lot to do, no intern, in summer school, or homework, so I'm up to things like this. If you guys are like me, you've been reading the news, reading uh, tons of rumors about Facebook, and since they've gone public, they've just exploded with the rumors. Uh, one of the newest rumors are about the Facebook phone platform. And what I've done in the last couple of days, or rather the last couple of hours, is composed and compiled and created and developed an app that basically showcases my idea and my thought process and what I feel the Facebook phone platform will look like. And basically this is a mock OS uh, within an app. And um, I have no intentions on releasing this to the public, but if you guys are interested in checking this out, just uh, send me a message or email me or get in contact with me and I can uh, find some way to send this to you guys. So um, basically what I've done is, as you guys can see here, uh, there's a pretty legit um, loading screen. It looks a lot like the uh, Facebook official Facebook applications loading screens, and we have a uh, very nice layout right here. So what I've done is imitated where they have the messages uh, uh, icon, which you can tap to create a new message and placed a phone here. Um, one thing you guys are going to notice is that uh, reading online, you're not going to see a lot of different mockups as uh, the Facebook phone platform is in its development stages. And uh, you're going to see, um, I haven't come across any, so uh, this is my or this is my uh, take on this and I've also made this fully functional so all the buttons here uh, work and you can access their uh, functionality as you guys can see that's my name my Twitter handle go follow me right there and my phone number which I've uh, bleeped out as I do not want random phone calls um, so tapping the phone will uh, it's not supposed to initiate a phone call, but we'll go into the native uh, phone application, which in the iPhone's case is the uh, default app that comes with the phone that lets you make phone calls. Next over here, you have the picture of the original profile picture that you receive when uh, joining Facebook, and tapping that will send you right into your profile on Facebook. As you guys can see, that's me and Waz. And yeah, let's go and jump back into uh, Facebook phone. And um, right here we have a news feed. I'm not going to go into that because a lot of my friends post there. And uh, I don't want them directly affected by this. And here we have friends. Um, I'll, I'll show you guys that this works. But let me, oh shoot cover that and go back really quickly probably failed at that please do not harass them next we have uh, the default or this is the if you guys you guys will probably notice that this is the icon for developer.facebook and what this does is uh, this is the app section as you guys have probably noticed all the very successful uh, mobile platforms all have apps um, Facebook launched a uh, app Store a year or so back, and what I've done here is just linked in Doodle Jump, one of the first applications that integrated Facebook for uh, a posting score option. Next, we have Events. It does as it says. It goes in and uh, accesses and shows your events. Uh, let me go back before it loads up. Next, we have Phone. It has the same. Uh, does the same thing as the phone over there. Um, recently, Facebook bought Instagram and also released this app called Facebook Camera, and uh, that's basically what this is. It is essentially the Facebook Camera. As you guys can see here, this opens up, and you can go ahead and take a picture. There's my MacBook. Take a picture, and yeah, that's Facebook Camera. And let's go back here to turn this around and put this back on its stand. Uh, and last but not least, we have Messages. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Messages has really, really upped its ante. And uh, now they have read receipts, receipts similar to uh, Messages, or um, I forget the name of the application. But uh, the default 
yeah, it's called Messages by Apple, um, and where you have read receipts, and it's very advanced now. And uh, this is something I envision Facebook using as its uh, texting, SMSing, and messaging option. And it's you can currently actually send text through that, and uh, I'll cover that in another video. So thank you guys for watching. Oh yeah, and the last thing is the profile picture. And that's me and Waz again. Tapping that will send you to your profile once again. As you guys can see right there. Let's jump right back in. All right. So, uh, and another thing, another functionality that is accessible is the uh, Ashbot. And uh, follow, follow me on Twitter, you guys. It means a lot. Uh, we can personally connect and stuff. And that's me on Twitter. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Please share this. Uh, it really means a lot. It really helps me out too. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, rate, and comment. And see you guys later. And I'm not sponsored in any way by Facebook.